Well, here today I'm going to install my Darwin grip handle uh, on my uh, steel string trimmer. Well, I was going to show you this. This is kind of their marketing strategy behind it. It's uh, to where you can use your string trimmer standing up more straight. And uh, otherwise, you're kind of bent over like that. So I, I thought that was kind of a neat marketing strategy. Well, it has a special clamp that is made to clamp to the shaft of the string trimmer and it has knurled edges so it's kind of virtual adjustment as far as raising it up and down and uh, to get it at a comfortable height for you. Uh, this is made out of some kind of pot metal I'd call it uh, and they do caution you on do not use uh, something like a drill or, or something like that to really hammer down on these uh, little allen head bolts. Uh, they actually give you an allen wrench to uh, tighten this by hand. You will have the ability, if you're left or right handed, you can flip this over and uh, have it swing up the opposite direction. So I don't really think this bend uh, no matter which way you have it is really that important uh, being that you can use it either right or left handed. And so from about here to here is 22 inches. So that's where I install that. When you slide your, your grip in, it's going to be raised up like that. Uh, so what it is, distant, you're going to be in a position more like this versus a position kind of like this bent over. You'll be more straight up. Using the string trimmer and getting everything uh, weed eated, uh, using the Darwin grip on my string trimmer made all the difference. And uh, so anyway, even though the price is a little much, but it's kind of targeted for commercial users instead of the homeowner, uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. So anyway, as always, I'm glad you came by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here. Thank <laughs> you.